uh, one of the folks from Blue Ridge Women and Ag came out here to the farm and they buried two brand new pair of white cotton underwear. Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheridan Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here on the farm. No, I'm not at a market this morning. I am here on the farm. We've got a crowd of people coming today for an introduction to grazing class that's being put on by the North Carolina Agricultural Extension Office. And so I think we've got about 20 some folks registered. We've got some interns, some instructors, all kinds of people coming today. Last, I was counting last night. I think we're about 30 or 35. So we're going to have a bunch of people here today. So hang out with us for a little bit. We're going to shoot some footage of this today. Show you all uh, what all is going on here. Might, get, might even catch a few nuggets of information here. So hang out with us for a little bit and uh, let's have a little school today. it quite as well these are things you'll find at the big box store like tractor supply I don't like them as well because they're harder to get the wire on fence wherever I want to all of these over here are made for straight line you start pulling it around the corner locate faults and shorts in your fence and we can talk more about that if you got questions but uh, anyway bring that down into the soil for those plants right right alongside what's alongside the dung pile so that, that they can utilize those nutrients and grow and have better better production and for the second one number two are your dwellers and shredders where they're kind of like swimming in it like for cow pies they're going to be swimming in it you can see just kind of spreading those nutrients out across or if you have equine like horses or donkeys they're actually like uh on or pseudolividus or other types of dung beetles that will actually break up that that apple dung pile and spread it across the field that way the say the rain comes then that that rain can have a better chance of putting those nutrients into the ground and versus volatilization where the new especially the nitrogen will uh, release the nitrogen into the atmosphere and we got also one for horse in just about a day or so in just about a day or so this is how much the dung beetles kind of shredded that the app the apple dung or apple sized dung of horse manure. So the thing about dung beetles is that when they're out in nature they'll when they're dwelling in the poop they gotta be cautious of predators uh, specifically birds. So when the bird kind of picks up the pile of poop uh, the dung beetles will either crawl down to the bottom to try to avoid the bird or uh, the on the vagus taurus will kind of play possum or play dead. That way they'll try to deter the bird from eating them 
And so with this shovel, the, the dung beetles should have gone down to the, un, in the bottom. So it'll take them some time. And then I'm going to flip it, and we can kind of see how many dung beetles will go down to the down to the shovel and see how many got collected there. So there's that one that flew out. So. Oh yeah. Not too many, but there's some dung beetles in there. There's a number of them flying out. Yeah, there are. So they can fly. Yep, they can fly. Okay. And that's how they get, how they migrate from pile to pile by flying, and within a, a few minutes they can start populating a freshly, fresh, a freshly excreted pile of dung. What do they do in the wintertime? Uh, they can either hibernate. All right, there it is. Um, so I've shot a bunch of footage today. I'm gonna go in and put this together. I don't know what it's gonna look like. So this is, this is as much a mystery to me as what, uh, what it was to y'all whenever you first clicked on this video. Um, but I wanna uh, give a big shout out to the Blue, 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 Blue Ridge Women in Agriculture. Those are the folks that sponsored, and sponsored this uh, workshop that we've done today, Introduction to Grayson. Blue Ridge Women in Ag, um, we participate with them. Uh, they run the farmer's markets that we participate up in Boone, North Carolina, the winter market that we do indoors, and also that Tuesday afternoon market that we do on King Street. Fantastic group of folks, they do a great job. They also run the High Country Food Hub, which is an aggregator. There's a bunch of different producers that feed into that. Customers buy um, what they want for who they want. They may buy some pork chops from us, some potatoes from Carringer Farms, some honey from somebody else, and then the customer meets at a specific location and picks that up. We've talked about that in the past. But uh, the class was actually put on by the North Carolina Agriculture Extension Office. Um, Kendra came down, she's the Ag Extension agent up in Boone. She came down and helped participate in the class. And also Johnny Rogers from, North, from NC State in the amazing grazing program. And Johnny was the guy with the big hat. A super smart guy, does a lot of grazing workshops and is just a fantastic resource and we were glad to have him here. One thing I wanted to show y'all, I do have the evidence of this. So about a month ago, uh, one of the folks from Blue Ridge Women and Ag came out here to the farm and they buried two brand new pair of white cotton underwear and they buried one pair right over here um, next to the fire pit up here where we mow um, and do our firewood and that kind of thing and they buried a pair out in the field where we have ran uh, animals in the past and I'm gonna show you all the difference so first off this is the pair that was buried up here um, next to the shop where we've got the firewood and we mow, I mow it and all that kind of thing and this is what that underwear look like after being in the ground for about a month. Looks about right. Now, I wanna show you the pair that was buried out there in the field where we run animals, where we get manure, we get grass growing, we got dung beetles, we got all kinds of bio biology and life and that kind of thing. S buried on the same day, the only difference was it was buried out there in the field and not up here. And so this is what that pair of underwear looks like. I thought they went in and stole out of my drawer, but uh, they actually had buried this out there in the field. So good testament to uh, the power of having animals on your property, what they can do to improve the soil, improve the grass, and just make a, much, make a difference in your, uh, in your soil quality and in your pastures and in the biology of the soil. So that was a pretty cool experiment. Um, Sandra today, she sandbagged on me. She did not stay sandbagged, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> she went to the farmer's market down in Clemens, and uh, I want to give a shout out to the folks over on Patreon that are supporting us over there. I will post a video uh, giving the market breakdown on how she done today, and we'll also talk about how our day was here yesterday on farm with the on-farm store, and sort of what our week looked like with two markets and an on-farm store. I did not lay out of work. I was hosting. I had company, man. I had company. I had people. I, I, had, pe I had people here. I was hosting. Good Lord. But I'll do a video over there so that y'all can sort of see um, what, so we can talk about how our market was, how our markets were for the week and what our income was for the week. So if you're a member of Patreon, I'll put that over there. If you want to hear about that, come over and join us. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, again, I want to thank the folks from Blue Ridge Women and Ag. I think it's really important that us as farmers are participating in these types of workshops. Uh, met some great folks today, made a connection on some poultry stuff. Uh, I've not even told Sonner about that yet. Made a connection with some folks on some poultry stuff. 
uh, learned a lot. It was, I learned a ton today. You know, we've been grazing cattle now for a little over two years, uh, but I learned some stuff today. It was really good and well worth the time. So reach out to your local ag extension agent, uh, each county. Um, I think about each county in the, in, I know in North Carolina does, but uh, all across the country, reach out to your ag extension office, find out what sort of workshops, classes, and that thing, that type of thing are coming up and go attend those. You'll learn something and you also meet some great people, a lot of like-minded folks that are doing the same thing you are. And in this farming community, we need a lot of friends because sometimes we get sort of isolated and uh, just never leave the farm. At least sometimes we don't want to leave the farm either. So all the craziness going on in the world. I think that's going to do it. Like I always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.